Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. I am Sean Anderson, Most Valuable Podcast, and alongside me is Brandon Swanson. And we are previewing the Week 2 matchups, and this one right now is the Tampa Bay Buccaneers taking on the Arizona Cardinals. Swanee, what are your thoughts on this matchup? Well, I thought Tampa Bay looked really good, mm-hmm. specifically Jameis Winston against the Falcons. Not high on the Falcons, but I, I think Tampa Bay looked good. They seem like a complete team. Uh, they even got Austin Safarian Jenkins into it, one catch, 30 yards, and a touchdown. I, I really liked what Jameis Winston was doing in that game, and that was finding his guys. And he was making some really good throws. And people talk all the time about you know quarterbacks in this league and stuff like that. And you can say what you want about Jameis Winston and his character, but he certainly has talent. And, and I, I'm going to eat my words on this one because I really thought that, that – Marcus Mariota was going to be the better quarterback long term than Jameis Winston and that was coming into the NFL and, and clearly that that isn't what's happening right now Marcus Mariota is is having his struggles while Jameis Winston he's, he's doing a really good job he's, he's kind of overcoming some some uh, barricades and, and hopping right over those and, and being a really good quarterback the, the quarterback of the future for sure for Tampa Bay and, and, that, and that's great for them but I think for the Cardinals it's 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 got to be pick it up. The offense has to come out, and they've got to be focused. And Bruce Arians even said that they they they, they really didn't plan all that well. Basically, he came out and said that they, they weren't prepared. They were not well prepared. And and I think that that's not good. That's not good when you're going up against a team that you, you figured you could beat. Now you're going up against a team who you probably should beat, but you, you better be prepared. You better be prepared. Otherwise, you know, Jameis is going to shred you, and I think that's the thing that needs to happen for the Cardinals. They have to come out prepared offensively and defensively. They've got to step up and make some plays. This Arizona Cardinal defense a year ago was all about making plays, scoring some touchdowns defensively. They need to do that in this game. They need to have some big plays and, and take one back to the house. And I, I'm going to say Cardinals in this one, but it's going to be close, 27-24. to 24. Uh, I think it's going to be a field goal game, and uh, Chandler Cannon zero does not miss this one this week. 27-24. The Cardinals uh, beat the Tampa Bay Bucks. Well, the thing there was it was just a, it was a, an elaborate con because you know Bill Belichick traded Chandler Jones to the Cardinals and then that pushed the cap room back. So then they had to cut their original long snapper. So then they brought in another long snapper and then the snap was bad and then they missed a field goal and Patriots won. It was just a long con. That's just how smart Bill Belichick is. Tell us what you think of Brandon's <laughs> prediction down below. Do Tampa Bay has, does Tampa Bay have a chance here? I think we picked this one uh, as well. I think Mark is the only one picking the Bucks here. So uh, Mark might be. Easy in our words here but tell us what you think down below of this matchup also in the description you have our twitters both mine and brandon's and you also have mvps we also have an instagram there so if you do want to follow us check that out and also we have our patreon page there should be a bar right here that says patreon.com slash most valuable podcast if you do want to help and support out mvp that would be greatly appreciated and we would just be bringing you extra and better content if you did but that's going to wrap up this video and we will see you next time see you see you that was way too high see you